yo, guys, girls, whatever you want to identify yourself as, welcome back to the channel. But, um, it's been a while since I posted anything. Um, I haven't posted like any car shows. I haven't really posted about my hatch. I haven't posted nothing. But if you follow my Instagram, you've seen what's happened to me in the past months, why I haven't uploaded, why I haven't been keeping you guys updated and everything. But, um, yeah, I got some not so good news for you guys. Um, on August 25th, 2021, I was involved in a car accident, including the hatchback. But, uh, yeah, right now I'm in my garage. It's tight quarters in here. Most of you guys know that already. But, um, I, like how the accident happened. So I'm driving down the road for a straight way and then um somebody was trying to make a left basically in front of me so they're coming from the left side and they're trying to make a left so basically they're coming out and like turning right in front of me basically so i'm coming they pulled out in front of me i hit the brakes i got the big brakes so like my my brake pedal locked up like I, I hit the brakes hard. Like, emergency time, I, I hit the brakes hard. I, the car actually locked up, and I just slid right into the side, like, right rear corner of them. I hit, like, the exhaust and the wheel, like, right rear corner. But, um, yeah. <sighs> seeing, the, seeing the aftermath of the hatch and the accident hurts. It definitely hurts. But I got to show you guys. But back of the hatch, crispy, crispy. Looking at the roof, I don't know if you could tell, but the roof's got a little tiny, like it's buckled. And then check out the interior. Airbags. Well, this airbag definitely would have went off if I had an airbag. But I actually hit my whole body onto the Mugen steering wheel. I had some bruises. Like, now I'm, I'm all healed up. This is a month and a half later. But airbag went off. My passenger, which was RX-7 Rotary Lifestyle, was in the passenger seat. He had a seatbelt on. But for some reason, usually when you when you hit the brakes, you lock up the brakes. Your your seatbelt locks up. I wasn't wearing a seatbelt, so I hit my I hit my whole body onto the steering wheel. He was wearing a seatbelt, and then the steering wheel, I mean the the seatbelt didn't lock up. So basically, like he was wearing a seatbelt, and he went full, still full force, like into the dash and the windshield. Basically, he hit his face on the windshield, and he hit his arm on the dash. Like kind of, he tried to like do the the football move. And like stiff arm him type thing, but he had, ended up breaking his arm, like from trying to stop himself from hitting a dash. Like thank God he didn't like fly out of the windshield. The seatbelt like held him in, but it's just like the seatbelt didn't also lock like it should have. I don't know why. Like I don't ride in the passenger seat to like even know that notice that or anything like that. But yeah, like I hit my knee. Like I bodied the steering wheel, and then I also hit my knee on like. It's a little coin pocket here. Um, like, it's kind of hard to tell. Let me get a flashlight. Can you see it there? But, like, I rocked my knee on that and then on the other side. So, basically, that whole, like, column section is just kind of, like, twisted up and bent now. But, check the outside out here. But now the outside, this hurts. Like this hurts a lot. Like you don't even understand. Let me go to the other side. Yeah, so basically the car that pulled out in front of me was a Ford es Explorer, Escape, no, it was an Explorer. So basically, because I hit the brakes like hard, 
my whole like body like uh, the whole like car like dipped and basically that's an suv so like my car dipped and like went underneath it so like basically like the, the car was hit up high on my on my car so if you like really kind of look at it like i work at a body shop so like looking at it the frame the frame row is right here and it didn't even hit the frame rail it hit to the right of the frame rail because i try to like swerve and get it like i try not to hit them of course but it happened but i hit like this whole this whole section and yeah push everything back as you can tell but another part that i forgot to mention in this whole accident thing when uh I like hit them in the corner when they turned out in front of me. They they like took off running, and like they 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 ran like kept driving. Then once they got around like a, I think they went like two blocks up the road. They made a right and threw the car in park and then got out on foot and then ran. So then there was a it was a guy a guy driving and a female in the passenger seat. The female was actually the owner of the vehicle and stayed with the vehicle like driver ran she stayed with it but now because she stayed with it it's going all through her insurance and now i asked her like who was driving like i'm, I'm at, like you crashed my baby i'm asking questions so i was like yo what's up what's up like why why'd you run like why you pulled out like, a whole bunch of questions so they pulled out they didn't see me whatever uh, it happens mm -hmm. and then they ran because the driver supposedly had like a warrant out for his arrest or something that's what she told me i have no idea who the driver was she won't say who the driver was no idea but whatever he has a warrant for his arrest so he ran but the cops were doing an investigation it took it took like 30 days for the investigation and then um basically the insurance is called called me a few days ago and was just like yo i have progressive insurance so i have all the coverages on here like I got the insurance. Their insurance, Liberty Mutual, has been like kind of slacking, but they they accepted full like they're paying me out. I'm just waiting waiting for a check, and they gotta come and check out the car. But yeah, let me pop the hood real quick. All right, so with the hood popped, it's hard to tell, but yeah. What I'm thankful here is I didn't hit it on this side because. If I would have hit it on this side, I would have hit like the whole motor and everything that would have messed up. But the Mishimoto rad took most of the hit and the headlight in this whole whole section here. But if you're looking at the car, looking at like the strut towers, it's got the flashlight here. But this whole strut tower is like crooked. It's hard to tell, but I can tell that it's crooked. Like it's all it's just pushed back. But yeah. Just because it took the impact here, like there's a nice crease on this strut tower. It's just it's just all banged up. Like the whole strut tower is just all dented. But yeah. If if you want my opinion, this thing's totaled, especially with the roof being buckled. And then if you really look into it, my passenger floor got like a little dent in it over there. But if you ask me, the car's totaled. I'm sure they're going to total it with insurance because Kelly Blue Book on these isn't really super high. Uh -huh. But yeah, this is what this is what happened. This is an update on the hatch. Yeah. But now, like. I've been car shopping. I've been looking at different cars, different hatches. Cause I'd like to, I would like to get another hatch again, just because I have like so much like. First, I got so much EK parts into this thing, so like I gotta strip this thing and then put it on another EK. But so if I find another EK, it's just like easy switching. If I would get like an EG, I would have to like kind of start all over. But I think I'm gonna look for an EK hatch. Um, stay tuned on that. I'm probably gonna get another ek hatch but we'll see what's up with that but uh this is just like a not really a quick video but this is an update video showing like what's going on like 
my car my car is damaged my car is junk now it, it it kills me and it's all because somebody else but hopefully insurance pays me out here soon and I could just start stripping this and getting ready for a whole nother shell and then put the K in it like it still it still runs and drives like I'm just rad rad broken I need like a headlight and if I get a shell like it should have a headlight but I really need like a rad like all my K-Swap AC stuff like I got the hybrid racing kit going up to here everything's just mangled here with the AC it's hard to hard to see but yeah look, look, this is the whole rat support yeah but it didn't hit the frame it just hit like structural like strut tower hopefully that coilover is not bent like the wheel's not really the fender's destroyed but hopefully the wheel's not pushed back like crazy but that's my update for you guys um don't like this video like actually thumbs down this video because this this video makes me sad this hurt this hurts the soul this hurts the heart i've like i've owned this car for eight years and i've been through so much work with this thing so i don't i don't even know what to say it hurts but yeah we'll be back soon this is just like an update video i'm letting you guys know what happened the whole situation but yeah i'm gonna get another hatch i'll be back like comment actually dislike comment subscribe and let me know what you think of the whole situation peace